What if a robot could save your life? What if a machine could cut crime in half? Crime has a $1 trillion negative economic impact on our nation's economy. It is a hidden tax we all pay every single year in blood, tears, and treasure. A violent crime occurs every 27 seconds in America, a property crime every four seconds, and a gun is stolen every single minute of the day. I believe that you have the fundamental right to be safe from crime, safe from violence, and safe from terrorism. I was born in New York City, and someone hit my town on 9-11. My country was attacked, freedom was attacked. My aunt and uncle used to work near the Twin Towers while I was growing up. Similar to my parents, they came from Colombia and China, got decent jobs, bought, American, bought a home, and lived the American dream. I grew up believing in that skyline. After the attacks, I so desperately wanted to do something for my country. I made a commitment to de dedicate the rest of my life to better securing our nation. On a national level, we have the finest military in the world not only because we have a $600 billion budget, but because someone's actually in charge of it. The U.S. Department of Defense oversees our military operations, plans it, maintains it, sets long-term strategic goals, and achieves them. If you need a new jet fighter or a submarine or a tank, there's a whole host of professionals that will assess the organizational, business, and technical requirements, put together a request for a proposal, send it out to numerous standing-at-the-ready defense contractors, and voila! Weeks, months, years, or even decades later, your widget shows up at the Pentagon. And the US troops, rightly so, are provided all the capabilities you might ever imagine, all at their fingertips. The Department of Defense controls everything outside of our borders. Within our own borders, the US Department of Homeland Security and the US Department of Justice have no federal jurisdiction over the 18,000 law enforcement agencies and 8,000 private security firms in the US. There is literally no one in charge. So with that level or lack of leadership, what have been the massive new breakthrough innovations in the physical security space over the last 100 years? Other than maybe a stun gun, a camera, a bullet-resistant vest, there's really not much to show. To add insult to injury, most institutional investors won't even recognize the sector as an investable opportunity, which reflects an industry not only starving for innovation, but an industry starving for risk capital to drive that same innovation. It is infuriating to me that there are over two million law enforcement professionals and private security guards that get up every morning, are willing to take a bullet for you and your family, Yet the level of technology that we provide to them as a country is certainly beneath the dignity of this nation. I do not believe the founders of our country ever expected us to build a society where going to work, going to the mall, going to the movie theater, or going to school literally came with the risk of being shot or killed. A fundamental change is required. And I can assure you that no amount of thoughts and prayers from our political leaders is going to fix this problem. Our planet's going to grow from 7 billion people to 9 billion people over the next three decades. The 200 plus countries around the world today spend a half a trillion dollars a year on security every single year. The law enforcement apparatus is not going to be able to scale globally. Now imagine adding another 2 billion people onto this already broken equation. So since the law enforcement sector is so fragmented and there's no one in charge, Who's sitting around thinking about how we're going to innovate our way out of this trillion dollar mess? Well, I believe the future is providing security professionals really smart eyes and ears for them to be able to do their jobs much more effectively, utilizing autonomous robots. Autonomous data machines gather massive amounts of data from the environment and over time learn what is quote unquote normal. An ADM can detect if a person is in the wrong location at the wrong time, or a new Wi-Fi signal shows up at a sensitive facility, or if that license plate's tied to a felon, or even assess the risk of a fire using thermal imaging. 
This type of technology provides humans a whole new level of understanding and situational awareness for the then humans to decide what to do. I'd like to repeat that last point, it's kind of important. For the humans to decide what to do. With the decidedly software plus hardware plus humans approach, the idea is to have the machines do the monotonous and computationally heavy work and have the humans do the strategic and decision-making work. This type of technology is a profound new way for security professionals to do their jobs. So, for example, what if these machines over time can end up seeing, feeling, hearing, and smelling? What if over time they're able to do 100 times more than a human could ever possibly do and do it consistently? 24 hours a day, seven days a week, nights, weekends, holidays, every single day of the year, all year long. And with that amount of learning that these machines can do over time, eventually we'll be able to literally predict and prevent crime. Now before you go thinking this is some kind of science fiction movie trailer, there are autonomous data machines operating live now in nearly a dozen locations across the state of California. And one of the biggest hurdles and technical challenges that we've seen thus far, lipstick. <laughs> so let's suspend reality for a moment. What if machines could actually cut crime in half? What would happen? What would be the implications? Well, the machines are here, they're here to stay, and they're here to help humans. If a machine could cut crime literally in half, it would have a fascinating, a massive disruption on our society in a positive way. It would be one of the most thrilling disruptions of our lifetime. What if a machine could make the United States of America the safest country in the world? Talk to me about investments in infrastructure. Talk to me about trade deficits or bold new commitments to our education system. What if a machine could reduce your insurance rates because it can provide real-time risk assessment to the insurance companies? Or what if machines can end up cutting massively the amount of theft from global massive corporations and lower prices for everyone? What if a machine could make your local business that much more viable because it's in a safer location? Or what if a machine could make your home increase in value because you live in a safer neighborhood? Or what if a machine could help your navigation system show you the safest way to your next destination? Or what if a machine could simply just save one single life? That machine would be absolutely priceless. Thank you.